most of us know what we want to do. We understand what the outcome looks like and we can visualize our life in a better place. This is what we call objectives and key results or OKRs. It's a goal setting system that's been used by presidents, rock stars, and Fortune 500 companies. It doesn't matter what we do, it's all about how we do it. And so that's how we're gonna unpack this in this video. Many of us set goals the wrong way, or we don't set goals at all. It's a huge problem. Most of us lack purpose. We must first ask the question, why? It's our value system and the lifeblood of our results. That question, why? Blake Mikowski visited Argentina in 2002 while competing in the second season of The Amazing Race with his sister. And I personally love that show. I'm a big reality TV junkie. That planted the seed that later became a company worth half a billion dollars. And you probably have heard of them. They're called Tom's Shoes. It's those kind of trendy slippers that were really big in the early 2000s. Tom's is a for-profit company that has a one-for-one -one model. For every pair of shoes that they sell, it gives away a pair of shoes to children in need all over the world. And it sounds like a great thing. I know there's a lot of confusion or concern over whether or not it's helpful for local groups. That's not the focus of this video. It's an important thing, but what I'm concerned with is Blake's mindset. And according to Blake, Bill Gates encouraged him by saying that the lack of shoes was a major contributor to disease with children. And I think we can all agree with the fact that we wanna see less disease with children all over the world. It's a very noble cause. Blake's experience was the catalyst for his why, W-H-Y. His objective was to build a company. His values drove his key results to focus on how many pairs of shoes he gives away. That was the key result. Objectives are significant, concrete, action-oriented, and inspiring. But for them to go anywhere, you also need to identify your why, why you're doing what you're doing. If you know your purpose, that's gonna generate your key results. That's the KR in the OKR system that we're reviewing. Good results are significant and time bound. They're aggressive yet realistic. They're measurable and they're verifiable. Blake commissioned 250 pairs of shoes to start out with in Argentina. It's in the local style of shoes that he was inspired by what everyone was wearing. They're simple and they're stylish and they're just made of canvas and they're comfortable most importantly. So with the wave of good publicity that he got from those initial 250 pairs of shoes, he then went on to sell 10,000 pairs of shoes his first year. In 2007, the company launched its first annual One Day Without Shoes event. And I remember this personally, I participated. It encouraged everyone to go shoeless for one day in order to raise awareness about the impact shoes can have on a child's life. Again, focusing on that core objective, the mission, the why for his whole business. In 2012, over 2 million pairs of new shoes have been given to children in developing countries all around the world. That's a big, big impact, and it really speaks to the key results that he was seeking after. Shoes given to children is a metric that's measurable, it's specific, and it's clear that the scope was aggressive yet realistic. He was able to send out millions of shoes and change millions of lives. This channel exists for two objectives. Objective one, educating financial stability. And here's my why. Because financial stability results in more stable families. Financial stress is the second leading cause of divorce. I'm fighting for healthier marriages, starting with healthier finances. The key results are in your relationships and your bank account. And that leads us to objective two, fueling financial freedom. Because we are prospering financially, we have more fuel in the tank to take care of ourselves and others. When you have less financial stress, you're able to exercise, eat better, and have a better overall view of your own mental health. The rate of suicide is highest in middle-aged men, just like me, and financial stress is amplifying that trend and it has been for a long time. The key results are in your relationships 
and your bank account. Another great framework is using SMART goals. That's S-M-A-R-T. The method helps goals stick. It gets us out of the failure cycle that plagues our New Year's resolutions. And I know we've all been there. You buy the membership, you don't go, it's a waste of time, money, and you feel worse at the end. SMART stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. When I clearly identify each of these elements in my goals and I write them down consistently, I see massive increase in my key results. And remember, SMART stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. Blake Mykoski, the founder of Tom Shoes, had SMART goals. They were specific. He was selling shoes. They were measurable. His success was measured on how many he gave away. They were achievable. He started small with 25,000 and grew to 2 million in just a year. They were relevant. He only broke into selling other items when it reinforced his core mission. And they're time bound. When we have an objective, we need a deadline. 